Welcome back. I hope you are ready to make some chrome because that's what we're going to be doing in this video. I'm just going to close my glossy plastic material because we're done with that one for now. I'm going to open my content drawer, right click, new material, M underscore, and I'm just going to call this blip chrome because there is already a chrome material in the start content, which we could use to be fair, but we wouldn't learn anything from that, would we? So we're going to create our own chrome. So let's open that up. And we're just going to position it over here so we've got some space and we're going to do some more stuff. So the base color, we want to be kind of a mid gray. But what's important about this one is setting the metallic value. So at the moment metallic is set to zero, we're going to set that to one, which will mean it is metallic. So let's create another constant. Connect that up and set the value to one. And you'll see straight away that this starts to look a lot more metallic. The way the light interacts with it is different. But it doesn't look very chrome, we want it to be shinier, and we're going to control that with the roughness. So let's have one more constant. Plug that into the roughness. Now, because this is set to zero, it's going to go too shiny. And we need to just rein that in, and we're going to do that by setting that to 0 0.2. We'll have it 20% rough, and it just adds a little bit of blurriness to that reflection. And that is perfect. One thing that you might want to do, which is absolutely fine, is if you want to create another constant just to control the strength of that gray color. So you, at the moment it, it, it is set to 0 0.5. If you want to have it a darker gray, you might go 0 0.4. And it just kind of affects how the light interacts again. So I'm going to leave that at that. That's pretty good. So we now have our Chrome material. So let's save that. I can then close that material. We're going to go back in here and you can see from a naming scheme that Chrome should go there. So I'm just going to type blip and then we'll get blip Chrome. And then if we zoom in, we can now see that that's doing what it needs to do. Okay, in the next step, we're going to address this blank look here, which is going to be his face, which is just eyes essentially. And that's where we're going to need to get into using textures. So I will see you in the next step where we're going to create our first material which uses a texture. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.